First question is from Georgie RX. What are the best exercises for your back for its width and thickness? Oh, you know what we have Thick thickness. Who I don't know who picked this, but this is a good time to. Yes, yeah. I know exactly where you're going. This is exactly why I picked it. I am fucking so. T- I'm so. It gets me so mad when I see these guys that are like, they want they they want to discredit the the deadlift for the back, mm. and it annoys me so much because I I understand traditionally and I understand biomechanically. I yes. get it. Yeah. I get it that the deadlift it's is a hip a, hinging. Move that's right. Only. It's a hip hinge movement. I get it. It's it's primarily hamstring and glutes that get more. But I tell you what. Uh, anybody and everybody that I've got to to to, to load the deadlift and, and work on that always sees a huge improvement. And personally, out of everything that I've done lifting wise, nothing grew the thickness and size of my back like deadlifting. One hundred percent. Even in bodybuilding, and this you know where it comes from. This argument. There's two places it comes from. <clears throat> One, it's the biomechanic. You know, PhDs, right? Yeah. Where the one that has like the muscle activation sensors. Yeah, or they're just like, oh no, it's hip hinging, yeah. so therefore whatever. So they have really lo- no experience with the exercise. Then the other people that tend to protest this are the bodybuilder types, where everything is about uh, you know isolating and contracting, and this is you know what's whatever. But I'll tell you what, even with the bodybuilding world, some of the best backs of all time in bodybuilding came from tremendous deadlifters. Yeah, right? Ronnie Coleman. Ronnie Coleman. Is still known as the best back in bodybuilding yep. ever. Franco the- Colombo, yeah. obviously from in the 70s. I mean, he, by the way, Franco Colombo, look it up. In the 70s. He was lifting cars. Okay. In the 70s, you had bodybuilders that had like body parts that really stood out. This was before, like you have now, where bodybuilders are just crazy looking all the way around. Franco's back was on another planet. He had like a back of like a 90s uh, bodybuilder in the 70s. He was a huge deadlifter. And what you can see from people who deadlift a lot, typically, is that mid-column of muscle, right? I'm talking about- The canal. Yeah, the, the, the spine and maybe like from the outsides of the spine like this. You just see this thick uh, muscle that you end up building from the deadlift. So in my opinion, the deadlift is by it, far- It gives this three-dimensional look to your back. And I mean- looking like when you unpack it and you think about it i mean we talk about the benefits of isometrics all the time yeah. mm-hmm. and it, it, in order to keep the, the the back from flexing or extending that all those muscles that support the spine all the way down are and they're not only are they working and activating but you're most people that deadlift can they can deadlift way more than they can lat pull down row or do anything else significantly more it's the heaviest back exercise you could possibly exactly. do exactly so this idea that it's not a back exercise to me it's like okay it's not only a back exercise it's very much so a hamstring and glute dominant type of movement i'm not denying that whatsoever but if you want an exercise that's going yeah. and you especially if you don't heavy deadlift that's where you're really now if you already kind of deadlift and you're like hey i'm looking for other great exercises for my back right. well we can talk about the row we can talk about the lat pull down we can talk about other great movements but if you are not a major deadlifter and you're looking for a great exercise to develop the back especially the thickness and the mm-hmm. like the three-dimensional look to a back heavy deadlifting it dude. does and it acted yeah. by the way it doesn't just activate the muscles of that that thick you know part like you were saying next to the yeah, spine yeah the lats are having to stabilize the lat, not just stabilize like when you start with the deadlift you and you stand up you are getting this this uh you know this uh, a, this adducting effect with the with the humerus too because you're starting out here and when you stand up your arms are by your sides right. it's not a huge lat movement but you are getting l- the lats to not just activate but also move a lot of rhomboids are involved, right? Traps. Your scapulas. Because here's right. the thing with Keeping the deadlift. Shoulders back. With the deadlift, although you want to keep a neutral spine, your scapula round uh, at the bottom, especially when it's really heavy. Mm-hmm. And that's perfectly safe, by the way. So when they say no back rounding, what they're referring to is the low back that you want to keep very neutral. But the upper back can round a little bit, especially the scapula. Then you stand up and your scapula. you're upright. And then you're upright. Yeah. So crazy rhomboid activation, crazy trap activation. So for thickness, is uh, there's no exercise, in my opinion, that uh, comes close. Now, width, when people talk about width, what they're referring to are the lats, right? The lats hang on the sides of the body, and when those develop, they they build out. And so you get kind of this V shape to your body. I can't think of a better exercise than pull-ups and yeah, chin-ups. Weight, weight, yeah, weighted pull-ups. All those variations, yeah. right? So, And my favorite, uh, I think, general wat, you know, lat, excuse me, width exercise would be a neutral grip or even a a kind of a, a, a supinated grip pull up. Pull up. I like wide grip mm-hmm. too, but the range of motion is a little shorter. 
And for some people, wide grip pull-ups are just... You can go a lot heavier, too, on a neutral grip. Yeah, they're just not, you know, super great. Other exercises for thickness, barbell rows, dumbbell rows. Like, there's there's your movements right there. It's going to give you that kind of that, uh, that, that 3D look um, to your back. But if you're not deadlifting, practice deadlifting. Get good at deadlifting. Put them in your routine once a week. Get strong at them. And oh, by, oh, forgot to say, take a before picture. Do it for six months. Take an after picture. I dare you to show me that you didn't make a tremendous change in yeah. the way your back looks. 